Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another quick and easy tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to take some webbing and make a fabric covered strap. So what you're going to need, you're going to need some fabric of course, some webbing, a ruler, scissors, marking pen. You may need double-sided tape. It's not necessary, but you may want to use double-sided tape. I'm using pins instead of double-sided tape. So in this tutorial, I've actually already cut out my strap, but my strap wasn't long enough. So I'm going to show you first how to create a longer strap and relieve some of that bulk in the strap. When you cut your strap, you're going to need to cut it at least three and three quarter inches by 55 inches. So if you have to cut two separate pieces and make one long strap, just make sure once you sew those two pieces together that your strap is at least 55 inches. I will have all the tools and the measurements in the description box below. So let's get started. So before we get started um, covering our webbing, we need to make sure that we cut our strap. Now, the fabric that I had, it wasn't long enough to make the length of the strap that I want, so about 55 inches. So what I had to do, I had to cut out two pieces um, to make up the 55 inches. So if you need to do that, if you need to make a longer strap, go ahead and cut out your two pieces. And I'm going to show you how to make a longer strap without having that bulk on the end. So when you cut it out, you don't want to place them with right sides facing like this and they're so down the edge because that will leave a lot of uh, bulk. So what you want to do, lay one piece flat going across with the right side facing up and take your other piece, I have to make sure I get my right side, <laughs> and place it on the end with the right side facing down. So what it looks like, it looks like you're making a backwards L. All right. So you have your piece going across with the right side facing up and then your piece going um, up and down and the right side is facing down. So you have the two pieces with right sides facing. So now you can e you can take a pin and pin it in place or you can um, take a marking a chalk roller or some tailor's chalk and you want to mark the direction that you're sewing. And you want to make sure that you sew in the right direction. I made the mistake a couple of times and I've had to pull out my trusty old seam ripper. All right. So what you want is when you sew this together, you want it to fold back this way. So it's one continuous piece. So in order to do that, you're going to sew from the bottom diagonally towards the top. Or you can do it in the opposite direction, the top to the bottom. So I'm just going to stick a pin so I'll know which direction I'm going. Like I said, you can use some Taylor's chalk and you can mark from that edge all the way um, diagonal to that edge. All right? And you can test it um, before you sew it. You can pull this back to see, make sure you're going to sew going in the right direction. Because if you sew from here to here, then it just won't look right. Alright, so now that you have your two pieces sewn together, go ahead and double check. Make sure when you fold it back, it's one continuous piece because you don't want to cut this end off and it's not. Alright, so now go ahead and cut to the right of your stitching line. Alright, so I'm just going to take this to the ironing board and I'm going to press this seam open. Now after you press your seam open and you have your one long continuous strap, what you want to do is you want to fold over a quarter of an inch. Fold over a quarter of an inch 
and press. All right, so take this to the ironing board, go all the way down your strap, folding over a quarter of an inch, all right, on one end only because you don't want those raw end edges to show. And then after you fold over a quarter of an inch, on each end of the strap, um, fold over a quarter of an inch because you want a clean edge when you get ready to put your webbing in. And I'll show you what I mean after I come back from the ironing board. Um, so you're going to fold over a quarter of an inch and, and press. And then on each end, you're going to fold over a quarter of an inch and press. All right, so take your webbing and the end that you pressed is facing away from you. So have it with the wrong side facing up. And, you're, and place your webbing close to the raw edge of your strap, not the edge that you folded over and pressed. And now this end that you, the end of the strap that you pressed over, stick your webbing up under that. That way on the end of your strap, you'll have a clean edge. All right, so now just take this, your webbing, and you're on the raw edge, fold it over once. And depending on your webbing, you may be able to press it. Um, some webbing um, heat will melt it, so um, just be mindful of the kind of webbing that you have. All right, All right, and then you take it and you fold it over again. All right, and I'm just gonna take a pin and pin it in place. All right, so when you fold it over, this is what it looks like. All right, so do that for the rest of your strap. You want to take it and just make sure it's close to that raw edge. All right, take it, fold it over, and then fold it over again. All right, do that for the rest of your strap. Um, you can also use double-sided tape to hold it in place. It's up to you. All right, so I'm going to do this for the rest of my strap. And then we'll take it to the sewing machine. And we will sew down both edges. Once you have sewn down both edges, you now have a um, fabric covered webbing strap. And then you see on both ends that you have a clean finish on both ends. All you got to do now is add your hardware and add it to your purse. And it's nice and sturdy. So that's it guys. Now you have your fabric covered webbing strap. Um, I have a video here on the channel where I show you how to cut and assemble an adjustable strap. So I'll link that video in the description box below so you can see how to make a strap from start to finish. But hopefully you will use this video to make yourselves a um, fabric covered webbing strap. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next tutorial.